What's up, guys? Max here with some pretty interesting news related to Killer Instinct. Over the past day or so, we were shown something that not anyone was kind of expecting to see. Thanks to the guys over at PTOP Online, you can see footage of what appears to be Killer Instinct running on the Xbox 360. It does come as kind of no surprise that this game was initially in development for other consoles than just the Xbox One. I do believe at one point there has been interviews talking about how the game was originally for older generation and then up and kind of kind of crafted for newer generation systems. But now we have footage of it because there is actual footage out there of KI running on the Xbox 360, and we can see so in some of these select screenshots. They do look very crude, it does not look nearly as good as the Xbox One version because this was just a prototype. And all things considered, for a prototype, it does look pretty damn good. Uh, it's functional, most of the game combos and a lot of the game advanced system mechanics are still intact. Some things are totally broken and goofy, but if you want to check out the full video, you can check it out in the link in the description below. But it's just very interesting how far along it really was, and then at some point, the game just stopped. Uh, there is even footage of the Xbox 360 version to Sadira, which was around September or so, when we finally got to see her. But the crazy thing is that it's actually early Sadira. It's the Sadira when she first had the mask, and everyone was kind of complaining that she looked like a Mortal Kombat character, and then soon after she was changed to not having a mask and looking like the way she does today. So I believe that this means that the Xbox 360 version was probably in development, up until September of 2013, which is uh, right around probably the same time that the Xbox uh, Xbox One version was being developed and getting close to its probably final stages to get released in November. Uh, so it's pretty interesting that this game actually got really far along and then was scrapped. The reason these videos are popping up now is strictly for archival purposes, and this guy actually does this with a lot of different uh, types of games that were eventually prototyped but not ever released. And that's what this means, that we're not going to be seeing the Xbox 360 version of Killer Instinct anytime soon. And I don't think we would necessarily want to. The biggest reason we would want to is to kind of expand the player base, because the hardest thing about playing KI or getting into KI is that it's on the Xbox One and it's expensive and arcade sticks are expensive, etc, etc. If it was on the Xbox 360 and initially developed for it, it'd probably be fantastic and it might be a much better game, but... It was clearly downgraded, as we can see from the screenshots. It's definitely not the same experience that we're getting, or anything close to. And even when it comes to the online functionality and how the game pretty much works, you lose a lot of effects, you're gonna lose a lot of the net play, because the net play requires a lot of CPU power to make it run as good as it does, and you would not have that on the previous generation systems. This, however, doesn't exclude other platforms. Of course, Killer Instinct is the equivalent of, like, Mario for Nintendo. If Mario was to show up on the Xbox One, would KI show up on a Nintendo system? It's not gonna happen. Killer Instinct is owned by Microsoft, meaning that the only other platform we might see KI on um, outside of the Xbox 360 now is possibly a PC port. So this does give us a hint that these guys at one point were indeed developing this game for other platforms, and maybe the PC version might not be too far off. I certainly hope so. I think in order to get the player base a little bit bigger, it would be great to see a PC port of KI, but we don't know if it would share similar net code or net play on the PC version. But either way, what you guys are also watching with this footage in tandem with the screenshot scene from this uh, this overall prototype from the Xbox 360 version is how old Killer Instinct looked. And this was a lot of the coverage that I did for the Double Helix guys, and these were the builds of the games that I was able to get a shot at playing back in the day thanks to the DH guys being very open about the development of KI and how the game was changing and stuff like that, how the entire system was like kind of in flux and a lot of things changed very fast uh, when this game was in development. And here's some footage of older Killer Instinct to accompany this stuff. So like I said, guys, if you want to watch the footage of the Xbox 360 version of KI, run over to the link in the description below to watch the full video from the PTOP guys. But until then, what do you guys think about KI? Should this game just get a PC port, or do you think it should stay on the Xbox One as an exclusive in order to get people to buy the system? I personally would just like more people to play video games. As always, dudes, thank you very much for watching. My name is Maximilian, and I'll see you next time.